A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco, then. It's not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. And with me as usual is Anthony. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo and Perez, Norris, Albon, Vettel and Lance Stroll, Magnussen, Iceman, Pierre Gasly and Raikkonen, Russell, Ocon, Roman Grosjean and Daniel Kvyat, Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. That's... What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. And today we're back at Monaco. So today we're running... Uh, I think we're going to do this on 48th. Yes, let's do this. Uh, yeah, we're running softs and two sets of mediums. Uh, I think we're going to do a bigger strategy just because our front wing. Uh, as we know, we're pretty bad at breaking our front wing. And Monaco is not my best track, so I wouldn't be surprised if we break at least two front wings and we won't be doing that well. Um, not sure what I how I feel about this track, but I'm just not sure if it's the braking zones or if it's the turn in which the car is not used to. Okay, so now we really get a decent start. A little bit late. The Haas just Kevin Magnuson just dive right in. Late turn in. Not sure if I have just like a not a good setup because getting a lot of these bumps car just does, does not absorb them. I'm just gonna get that turn in which I really want.
brakes will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Might be struggling with fuel issues. See if you can increase the gap. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. Front wing, it'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. seconds.
Energy is available on the MFD. Confirm. Got that confirmed. Jeez, like this track is. I hate this track. Like, Monica looks amazing, but it just. Oh man, I just my front lip already. Yeah, it's seven laps in. Uh, so, and we're gonna be 20th, so I wouldn't be surprised if you do last Complete. place. Go now. Oh man, well, when you're for the long haul, we change our tires out three laps earlier. So, we'll see what we can do. Now it's called the catch up game. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Jeez, this is gonna be terrible. Now is pit stops, crashes, wipeouts. Me getting better lap times. some of this energy. Our gap to the car in front is 13.4 seconds. I think the fastest lap time that we've had that I've seen in the qualifying here is like 112, so I'm five seconds behind the, the best lap time, which is kind of shitty. I can seem to clear 117. It's like my fastest lap time. Teammate ahead is 32.2 seconds. Thank you. 
target is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Stop. Okay, starting to catch up now a little bit. Slow turns, I just feel like I'm getting no turn in from the car. Here, a break or not? The car ahead is losing two seconds a lap to you. Good job. Jeez. There's my front wing again. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Moving the TV. Confirm. Confirmed. I was like, we're gonna get a new front wing again. Oh my god. OK, 
Okay, back to the pits. You need a new front wing. Oh. Not a fan of this circuit whatsoever. Like this tram is this is just terrible. So this is our uh, second front wing of the day go, already. Go, go. Looks like every seven laps we're gonna break one. So if that's the case, we'll be having another two to go. I have four, maybe maybe even five front wings we're gonna break today. So bad. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. No more scheduled ones, but we might have impromptu. It goes this way. Oh my god, no turn in there. Take button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. There goes another one. The car is understeering like terribly. Look at this. Jeez. A new strategy is available on the MFT. Jeez. Oh yeah. Okay. The car is gone. Was a nasty hit. Oh, Turn the I don't know what it was going on, but like no turn in, no nothing. I can't get this long corners. Can't get the fast corners down. Pay it, Pat. Oh my god! What a Grand Prix! What a waste of a Grand Prix, really. That's it then for another nail biting monic. Nail biting, not even close. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers just making their that. way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top. Jeez. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying well, his lead at the top of the table. If I didn't keep breaking after wings, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day? Could Ant? have been able it's to. It's got to be Valtteri to Bottas, a commanding performance that I think right had there. the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. Let's move on to the constructors, Mercedes. Jeez, 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 Louise. Like, I don't think this car has understood that bad ever. Didn't really go your way today. No, they didn't. Let's have your take. Car couldn't turn with shit. There was quite a lot of contact today, wasn't there? Yeah. What was your teammate's secret to success today? Uh, they made it to use the car's aero package. Yeah. My arrow or my... I don't know what it was, just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage arrow setup. Now let's see what we have for uh, edits here. What do we have coming into to this? Okay, weekly resources. 25th, we have 13 R&D, okay. 
Well, our arrow was garbage, so I feel like we got to focus on that. Um, front down force, that's what I want. Yes, develop upgrade. Get some more resources here. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't have enough for anything, really. Well, let's have a look at our car, our powertrain aerodynamics. So we're about in the middle of the pack at the moment. Powertrain morale is normal. Uh, already progress. We still have a major car part coming in, another minor part. So we're not too bad. We're, we're in the middle of the pack. Uh, facilities. Nothing crazy. Uh, what else have we got here? Nothing. Contracts. 35 days, hopefully we can be good enough to stay with McLaren. And season results currently, we're still 5th place, which is great. Lando's four is 9th. McLaren's 40 is the 4th. Season results, there it is, 2 DNFs so far this season. Uh, just as bad as Esteban Ocon. Anybody else worse? Okay, I mean, right, can 2 DNFs? Oh, Max Verstappen versus Verstappen have 3 DNFs. Holy, but he's been placing high up. So we can definitely still catch... The front runners. Uh, 27 to 12, we almost won our, our, our rivalry, which is great. Um, but I think let's call that an episode. Let's uh, regroup and let's see what we can do at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in the next episode. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Unfortunately, it wasn't the greatest episode. It wasn't that long either. But we did what we could. Thanks so much for checking it out. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.